Okay. What I want to I want what I want to talk today is about actually about my dream. I have a dream. Actually, this dream, this vision, is actually. It's actually it's actually the first thought that come that came to me when I first thought about this that triggered me to have this vision, back in two thousand fifteen. Back in 2015, when I was interviewing, uh, actually at that time, I'm with I'm Muslim shop, and I wanted to form a social media team for I'm Muslim shop. So I've advertised uh, the position for videographer and then a graphic designer and also an admin, social media executive. So I was quite surprised because at that time I was in Terengganu. Uh, I received lots of application lots of emails and that's why I just pick a few I, I, I ask them to do the personality test first to see the strength so because when hiring a creative person you've got to find somebody that is creative that is the first thing that that you must filter first Okay, when they came to the interview, I still remember one of the uh, applicants uh, that comes to the interview is a young man. It's a young man who had graduated for one year or something like that. And he has, he has the skill to design so I was quite surprised so there's there's actually lots of people in Terengganu lots of young people who graduate from something actually from video from graphic actually that that is a very very invaluable skills to the to the market nowadays so is the, uh, what 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 surprised me is actually when I asked Okay, what he's been doing. And he told me that he works at uh, my Dane Mall as a cashier. Um, so I was so quite surprised. Why did, why, maybe I understand that the jobs uh, vacancy or the jobs, the jobs in Kuala Tenggano, in Terengganu is not, it's not there's no not not many companies so there is not enough position for these graduates but with actually with his skills actually he actually can can do freelance he just have to find opportunity opportunity he just have to know how to advise advertise his skill he can pursue he can create a team he can actually do anything but when I asked him and then he, he said something that disturbs me or make, makes me sad that is he has a family he has he is the eldest in the family so he has to make money in order he has to be the bread by the bread winner for the family. So if he chases his dream, so if he just do freelance and there's no no security on the money on the salary. So it will be it will disappoint the family because he is responsible to feed the family to take care of uh, his brothers and sister and his mother and father to help his mother, his parents. Of 
after hearing that, I was so, so sad, you know. I was so sad. Why is this happening? It's, 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 such, a, it's such a waste. This youngster, they have potential. They have lots to offer. They are still young. They have the energy to chase whatever they dream. But they cannot... They cannot pursue their dream because of this kind of thing. That's why when I feel that it's such, I I feel sad, and I feel is there no agency or government or private or anything foundation that can help this kind of people to help them actually so that they can use their skills and upgrade their life better than just being a cashier because they have that uh, that skills that is needed in the industry and eh? in social media nowadays in the market in the industry into the marketing all nowadays they need graphic designer So I was thinking, I was thinking back then and I was so sad and I was so touched and the uh, interview made an impact, made me think, made me ponder, made me reflect and I, from that moment, I think, I, I think I've made a I've planned something. I envision something. That okay. I I now know what is actually I am going to pursue. What is my purpose? It's actually my my end goal before I die. I want to contribute something to the society, to the people, to the people in Trangano, actually to the youngsters. Because looking at that, that moment made me realize I have to do something. Because nobody is doing anything, so I have to be the person to do something. I know it's not easy to change something, to do something. But if you dream, if you really work towards it, it's not impossible. It will be hard, but not impossible. So that is when I start to envision, to start to uh, train the team, the social media team. And then I also train them, I train them to be a leader, to be, to have their own startup. Because my vision is actually to form an ecosystem or a foundation or a place where the, we can... We can train this kind of people. We can train the graduates that come out from the uni university. They don't have. They don't know what to do. They are. They are clueless. Actually, they have valuable skills that they can offer, but they just don't know how to market them. How to uh, find a team that can collaborate. To find somebody that believes in them. To find somebody can motivate them, inspire them, then tell them that you can do it. This is your trend. You've got to pursue it. And help also help them a bit financially, so make them secure, so they can focus on actually what's, 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 uh, what they have to pursue. So that's, I think that's the problem of the youngsters. Especially nowadays in the COVID situation and after that, and lots of people are jobless, but they just don't clueless. They don't. They, some 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 are very good initiator. They 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 good at creating something, but some are still. This we want to help this kind of people who are helpless, who are they have a responsibility towards their family. And they are talented. They are they. Where is they have valuable skills to offer. So actually, with this kind of people, there's if we can put there somewhere that where there is we can coach and mentor them. It's actually not. 
build an ecosystem so that this these youngsters this this these young people okay they they will have we, we will segment them into okay whatever they are strength at and then we we mentor them and then we if we have uh, if we have we can call the internet marketer the the underground one if they want to offer their uh, knowledge i think lots of okay. i am that from Tuganu are able to uh, offer free share knowledge sharing to these youngsters actually is the foundation is actually is not profit oriented it's actually uh, i want to build an ecosystem a foundation that it can sustain on its own it's actually when we train designer to be a very good designer a videographer to be a very good uh, videographer uh, um, admin social media admin to be a very good social admin and whatever whatever department there will be so at the end we are actually going to match them we're going to match them each with with each personality and harmonious time harmonious time and then match them uh, into a team into a team that what what's their what's their passion what is their uh, interest actually and then let them give them idea give them something to start with let them form a startup and have their courage to, to do their own business to pitch and help them how to can they can make money from actually from their skill and by collaborate collaborating as a team it's actually strengthening the making them much stronger and they can support and level each other help tell them teach them how to work in a team and how can that team stay together and makes money and then how to approach how to monetize their skills something like that it's actually there's lots of of company that need this kind of uh, people but actually it's a it's just, if we can train them and then supply them to this company or they can be independent and have their own startup it would be great and once they succeed they will come back and contribute back to the foundation to the ecosystem so they we will have some or some of what sort of financial stability there and then we create our own um, our own profit we don't have to depends on the government on the donation or something like that it's actually the the team or the graduate, the, the people that we train are actually going to come and contrib contrib contribute back to the ecosystem and we'll produce more and more. That is actually my dream. <laughs> so I'm back in Trungano. I said I'm back in Trungano from December already, but I'm taking my time to just because I, my dad just passed away in December, so I'm I'm introspecting <laughs> for quite a few months, and then due to the lockdown, and finally my mother asked me to stay with her. So I'm back in Kuala Trungganu, so I think, and my mother rooted me here. So I think it's a, it's about time that I start I start well, I start working towards my dream. And yesterday, I've uh, last night I've discussed uh, with uh, somebody, ENTP. So he has the same dream as me, and he's working towards it, and he has some sort of some things that can actually help me in gaining the baby steps towards my dream because at the end of the day okay, as a muslim okay, my end goal in in life is actually uh, for my career for my it's actually that is my my dream for the, my end goal but as a muslim uh, my end goal is actually 
in the world of here after because when for me when I am at my age I don't want to chase money anymore I don't yeah money is important but it's not my priority but my priority is to before before I I before I die I want to contribute something I want something I can I want my knowledge to be shared I want to do something good I want to leave a legacy Because as a Muslim, we believe that whatever good deed that we do in the world before we die, it will help us in the life of hereafter. It's, it's just it's a basic thing. It's not Muslim. I mean, it's other religion, I think, is also the same. It's when you do good, the good will come back to you. Just believe in that. Actually, I've told this dream to just a few people uh, because I don't share much with people because it's a very this dream is very sacred to me. I just because but I think it's about time I share. It's about time I declare my dream so that I will work toward it because I think there is nothing. Is nothing more. That I I can I just I I, I have that I I'm not struggling anymore. So my kids are already grown up. My mom is, uh, is okay. It's it's not it's just a it's just it's just a old parents. It's just the, the usual thing. Okay, it's, she's not sick. So I think it's about time that I start. Working towards that dreams, in baby steps. Because for these last three years, I've worked in a corporate company, so my I was my focus is just on the job, on the on the daily job, on the company school, something like that. And after introspecting, and I think it's a, I I, for a few months because I wanted something. I take a long time to think and reflect to 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 find actually what I'm going to do. My what is my next? Because I want my next to be. I want to be consistent in my next. I want it to be my passion. I want to do something that I was. I'm happy. I'm wake up. I wake up in the morning and. I'm going. I'm. I'm rushing to do it. Okay, there is there is a motivation. There is a nature energy there. When you do something that you love, you you are so engrossed with it. You don't. The time flies, and you are excited, and the energy. Uh, you borrow the energy from the from the from your. Your your goals, your dream, your purpose, whatever you're doing. It's actually my dream. Is actually my strength. Because my strength is actually mentoring people, coaching people, motivating, motivating them, inspiring them. Because I believe every people they have their strength, and there is endless possibilities. You just have to give them, train them, make them believe actually. Guide them, actually mentor them, and put them with the right team, and then just just let them do things on their way. Train them to be a leader. I always do. I that is always that I practice. Whether it is is in my previous company, when I train my team, I always train them to do the works. So that in the future, if I'm not there anymore, so they can do it by themselves. I trim them. I trim them. Uh, so that when I ah uh, yeah like that lah. 
I think I train them so they can do the work even even if I I am not there. I share the knowledge. I think I love to share. I always don't mind sharing. I don't know why people say picking up brain. I I I cannot understand the terms of picking up brain. <laughs> I yeah. That's all I think today. Since about my dream, so please wish for me, wish me, wish me that I can actually execute and make my dream a reality, so that I can change the lives of these people. I can actually contribute something. I can leave a legacy. That is what I want to do. I wanted to do with my knowledge and skills before I die. Okay. Bye.